Everyone has been asking me what my terminal is and how they can set their terminal up in a similar way. Well, my terminal is Hyper by Zite, and of course this is a JavaScript, HTML and CSS terminal that is completely open source, inspectable and has a respectable amount of plugins. It's quite easy to extend and has a Redux pattern as far as I'm aware for actually making plugins, so you can hook into different stages of the app state. Let's get this downloaded, go to hyper.is and I'll put a link to this inside of the description and of course I'm going to download it on Mac OS. So here we are, we've downloaded Hyper, but the terminal doesn't look the way that mine does and that's because I've got some third party plugins and configuration. To get started configuring the settings for our terminal, we can open this up inside of our editor by opening up the hyper.js file. And from within here, we have a variety of config options. So we can do everything from the font size to the font family, as well as a variety of other things. I'm gonna head down to the plugins section of the config and I'm gonna uncomment this. And if we take a look at each one of the plugins themselves, we can get an idea of what each one of them does. The hyperterm material is the simple material theme that I use. Hyperpower gives us that cool effect when we type. Hyper CWD allows us to open a new tab in the same directory. The hyper border obviously gives us that crazy gradient border. The hyper term tab icons allow us to have tab icons, so self-explanatory. Hyper blink allows our cursor to blink. And the hyper term cursor allows us to see the character of whatever is underneath the cursor when we're typing. You can see a full list of plugins inside of the description. I'll link you to the GitHub section where you can see everything from productivity increases to fun, additions such as GIFs, Nyanka and more, and other customizations. So if we save this file and then check back over in our terminal, you see our terminal has reloaded with those plugins. If you find that your terminal has not reloaded to install these plugins, you can force the terminal to reload or alternatively, you can just restart the terminal. After which your terminal should look similar to mine and you can customize the plugins individually and change it however you like. So that wraps up the terminal video. Let me know what you think and share me your configurations of Hyper. I'd love to see what you come up with and if you make any plugins, I'd love to hear about that too. Until next time, my name is Paul and I'll see you very soon in the next video.